Uh, good evening and welcome again to Citizen Airway, the platform where we speak truth to power. Uh, it's coming thick and fast, but we're trying to make sure we give you as much information as possible. More updates on the fraudulent NHIA's uh, DG that was sacked. He was sacked 1st of July 2019. And ever since now, he's now, you know, he talks about, he first went on to the COVID-19. Now he's now latched on to, of course, the... Um, they won Nigeria nonsense and they and, and and trying to blame Southerners for the killings. The Fulani terrorist. He's trying to blame Fulani, uh, to, trying to say that Igbo Ho is a terrorist uh, or, or an and, and IPOB are terrorists. They're not. We're nothing of the sort. Listen to his comment. This guy is not to be trusted and is walking with Gumi. That's the point I'm trying to make. Follow him closely. I showed you a picture earlier on. I kid you not. I will do it again this time. I want to make sure we keep an eye on this guy. Um, we keep an eye on him. I'll show you the picture again. Those of you that were on earlier on would have seen the picture. I'm putting it here so that all of us, we need to speak truth to power. These guys are liars. They're a bunch of liars. This guy is walking with Gumi. He's walking with Gumi. And they need to go back to Futajalon. This guy should have been arrested. He was sacked. He was sacked, but they, they, they allowed him to choose his own successor. The man that has failed in, to, in, in, in the Nigerian Health in, uh, uh, Service, the NHIA service, the man that failed, that allowed money to be looted, is, is now here, come to talk to us about One Nigeria. Listen to his comments. Listen to his comments. I'm not, this is not going to be a long one, but I want to just watch. We, to... we went there to listen. The bandits and the people they are killing are our people. Boko Haram are our people. Igboho and all the people he's killing, they are our people. Igboho is not killing anybody. That is a lie. Igboho is not killing anybody. Igboho is protecting people. The Fulani terrorists, the Fulani terrorists dressed up as herders, uh, the Boko Haram terrorists, these are the ones who are killing. And Igboho has, to, Igboho has told them that they should leave their land. We have the right to life in our land. We've had enough. This is, this, is a, this is a lie. This is a lie. And this man is being given the platform by the federal government to spread this lie. They are all working together. He's working with Gumi. You can see in the picture. That's why I put it in the picture there. He's working with Gumi. See them working with terrorists. So this man to come to tell. And they're killing in our own land. It's time we woke up. It's time we woke up. So let's play this again. Right? So... It's time for elders. It's time for concerned citizens in the northeast. Elders in the northeast engage Boko Haram. Elders in the southeast engage IPOP. No, wrong. Again, there is nothing. I, IPOP is not a criminal organization. You have the federal government of Nigeria. You are trying to spread the federal government narrative. And this tells you, this man should already be arrested. He stole from the nation. The nation it wants us to believe that is one nation. He stole. Don't take my word for it. Now I'm actually going to go into it. He stole from the nation. This man that's now talking to us about one Nigeria and all of this nonsense. He stole from that very nation. The one Nigeria, it is now obvious that the, the, the resources is being taken away. We are hearing also that they put an injunction on the wind by rivers on the VAT. So now that is now in jeopardy. These guys are trying everything to to. to to frustrate us, to stifle Southerners in our own land. They come from Futajalon. And let me remind you. Uh, let me put, I put this here. I'm going to get this uh, thing out quickly. But I'm going to put one more thing here that you must share. You must share it. I, I always say this to people, and I'm saying it again. Just remember, when you say, when all is said and done, they are from Futajalon. That's where they're from. They're from Futajalon. So when it's pointing and all of this stuff, do not buy that nonsense. It is a lie. They come from Futa Jalon. And that is the fact that we need to expose. He is from Futa Jalon. So I'm trying to make sure you go in and you see that. He is from Futa Jalon. Now we will play on with what is Elders in the South South engage those cultists. There, no, there's nothing to do with the cultists. You, you, there's no cultists there, actually. There's not, it's not... The, the people, the people who are doing the killing, you know it, and you're you're actually straight. You're being disingenuous with the truth. 
This guy here should already be in jail. Now, let me show you something. But they've not prosecuted him. They only sacked him because he's a Fulani man. He should have been prosecuted. But Fulani can get away with crimes. I'll show you the thing. I don't want to just leave it. I'm bringing it again. I want to, we need to just... We need to speak truth to power. These guys are fraudsters. And, I, I, and, and we shouldn't allow these people to get away with this. We've done this for long enough. When it's time we spoke truth to power and, 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 and not allow this. They, 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 they think that they're, they're lord unto themselves in our own land. And it is sickening. And we should no longer accept this. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. I'm certainly not going to be accepting it. No way. I'm certainly, I am not going to be accepting that at all. In any way, shape, or form. I will not. I cannot accept it. Yeah, fraud and misconduct. So I'm going to show you again. So before this guy starts coming to steal his nonsense, he was found guilty of fraud and misconduct. And this is the same guy that is now coming and spewing this nonsense. It's the same guy. Professor Usman Yusuf. It is a guy, same guy. So let me just bring that up. I'll pause it. And I want to just bring it to your attention that this guy, when he's saying this nonsense, he's a fraudster. He is a fraudster. So look at that. So don't take my word for it. I want you to read it yourself. Look at that. When we're talking, I've spoken about it before. You can read it. Professor Usman found NHS Usman useful, guilty of fraud and misconduct. You see that? He's found guilty. So you can see it. Found guilty of fraud and misconduct. So there you have it. It is in black and white. It is not something he can disp dispute. None of that stuff. You see? Exclusive. How Pro Panel found NHIS youth man useful guilty of fraud and misconduct. And that is the man that is standing in front of you trying to talk to you about, oh, they should deal with this. He should be in jail. But you see, the fact that he's a full and man, he's not been jailed. Listen, I'll read on to you. Let me read it. Let me let me read it to you now. Uh, I want to read something else to you. Uh, yeah, you see, the report ca that cases of misconduct was clearly established against Mr. Yusuf. You know, and these are these are the facts. Eight hundred and sixty million mismanaging eight hundred and sixty million budgeted for the agency for training in twenty sixteen. Flagrant disrespect for the rule in award of contract for supply and e-library equipment. Award of media consultancy to his brother. And payment of funds to contractors before supply of goods in convenient connivance with the heads of the finance and audit agency. This guy is a fraudster. This guy is a... Look at the smile. He's a fraudster. Fraudster. All the allegations include incurring expenditure above 2.5 million threshold. <coughs> of the ES without approval of supervising ministry encouragement of supply of failed products and substantial goods to the agency. Inflation of cost contract by 100%, dropping of name of president for disobedience of, of minister of health, fraudulent practice, of selection of insurance broker for the scheme, and collection of flat rate 7.2 million naira for registration of health management uh, organizations, HMOs. Look, the list is endless. This guy is a fraud star. This guy is a fraudster, and I'm trying to bring it to your attention. When he sits down and he's talking, just remember, he's being found guilty of fraud. He's being found guilty of, he should not be having a mouth to say a boo to anybody. Found guilty of fraud. See that? I'm just trying to give it, I'm going to try and drop that down a little bit. Can I drop down, down here? What time? It's been found guilty of fraud. So I'm trying to make sure you can see it. So you, are, you, are you seeing that? So when it comes, he's been found guilty of fraud. 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 Yes, he's a fraudster. That's what it is. But because he's a fool and he, they won't jail him. And that is why we need to go. The fact that they cannot, they will not jail a fool and he man is evidence of why we need to have dismantle contraption Nigeria. We need to leave it. We need to leave. Anyway, let's listen to his lies and we'll continue. Engage in the uh, elders in the southwest. Okay. Engage. I... Uh, Igboho and all those people. We keep telling you Igboho has done nothing wrong. And you are a fraudster. You have no mouth on this. You should be in jail. You should be in jail. The evidence is here. Why are you not in jail? Why are you not in jail? 860 million naira. 7.2 million naira. Naira, millions and millions. Substandard product. Fake products. That's you. It's all on you. 
2.5 million threshold, 7.2 million naira, 210 million naira. He was also accused of approving 210 million for electronic, electronic media operations without recourse to lay down procedure. I mean, this is this guy should be in jail, but because he's a Fulani man, and that is why. For as long as a Fulani man is, is escaping jail, there is nothing like one Nigeria. For as long as a Fulani man is escaping jail, the likes of Yusuf, Yusuf, uh, 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 Usman Yusuf, there is nothing like one Nigeria. And that is why we are going for Yoruba Nation, Biafra Nation, and Middle Belt Nation. And South, will, we, we will free ourselves from this bondage. Let's listen on. People uh, conducting xenophobic attacks. This is responsibility of responsible citizens. And that was it's responsible citizens. So is a fraudster, as a fraudster, are you a responsible citizen? As a fraudster, are you a responsible citizen? Usman Yusuf, I'm not going to call you professor. You don't deserve it. As a fraudster, do you see yourself as a responsible citizen? You see the Fulani, look at the way he's pointing his fingers. He's pointing his finger from the point of view of the Fulani. We are in power. All of that is all to do with this. They've taken power from us. They come from Futajalon. I keep reminding you. Look at the way he's talking. It's like he's talking to his spontaneous. I, I have the power to do whatever I can. I can waste you and nothing will happen to me. I know the president. That is, it is in his words. Listen, he drops the name of the president at a drop of a hat. That's what he does. He's a full animal. man. He's a fraudster. Is, is that what See? you call the, 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 the mission to liberating people who are suffering uh, the excesses of... Um, Herders, is that what you call their mission? Who is the mission? Xenophobic attacks? Absolutely. If that's you what, go, that's yeah, what you call yeah. it. If you, if you, what you said, what you, Bukala, said, oh, the Yoruba were, so you've already. Can you see? Can you see what he's doing? He's trying to tell her, I am in control. You don't dare talk to a Fulani. We are not one. The way he's even talking to the presenter, who is a southerner, he's telling her, know your place. This is why we cannot be one. Those of you talking, this is why the, the Fulanis are telling us to know our place in our own land. And they forget that they come from this place. That's why I'm doing this. They forget that they come from Futajalon. He comes from Futajalon. He comes from Futajalon. And he should go there. They have no claim to any part of the South. Zero claim. Zero. Let's carry on. So let's listen to this a bit more. You've already ethnicized him. You never hear it us say, "Oh, the the we we are." That's, let that's me what you heard. No, no, that's what you said, and that is what I am hearing. Can you see what he's doing? He's condescending his manner to her as a woman and as a southerner, meaning that the Fulanis believe that they are first above everybody else in our own land. They don't even belong there. They belong in Futajalon. They belong in Futajalon. Let us remember this. We must all take control of this narrative. They belong in Futajalon and they must go back there. Particularly as they are killing us remorselessly when we, we need to take every chance now to make sure that we stop the killing and we send them back. Send them back to Futajalon. People need to be very careful when they start... The interpretation is what you heard. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that People need to be very I'm careful. Glad, I, I'm glad. Let me. I am so glad she did that. Let me put that back again. Let me see here. You be very careful. Hang on. What they hang, on hang on. Be very careful. Let me see. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that. Good. I am glad she did that. Kudos to her. Kudos to my Yoruba uh, 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 woman for for standing up and letting him know. She put her hands up and he was trying to say, No, no, don't you dare. You are from Futajalon. We will remind you. We will continue to tell you every broadcast. That, and you are a fraudster from Futajalon. Right, let's go on. Let's carry on. No, kudos to her. People need to be very careful what they do. This country is... You see, he's gently telling her, "Forget, don't forget your place. We Fulanis are in power. We can do and undo and nothing will happen. I can give waste you and nothing will happen to me. Very fragile. Reason, so the reason you, you haven't categorically stated what your epiphany is after your visit My epiphany, to uh, the good, forest. Good. How should the bandits be dealt with now that you have gone to listen to them? Good. So, 
the reality is we don't know what we are fighting. You see, don't know. you see now, can you see when she asked her pointed question about the, uh, the food and terrorists? Oh, the reality, we don't know what we are fighting. Oh, really? Could it possibly be because you are trying to hide the fact that the government is sponsoring the food and terrorists with AK-47 guns? You're telling them, oh, they're forgiving them and they're moving them from one community to the other to kill? This man is a fraudster and a liar all rolled into one. And of course, he's working for the federal government as we speak. That's why you've got this picture. I'm going to keep putting this. I want to remind you, that is his picture right there. That's him there with Gumi on both places, with the terrorists and with Gumi. And both of them are being with terrorists and they're working with terrorists to ensure the killings. These guys, this is open. This is in our face. Southerners realize that what they're doing, they're putting this in our face and they're killing us and they're daring us to stop, to, to do our worst. They're daring us to do our worst and we need to confront it. As we don't know them, you see, listen. You see, we don't know them. Of course you don't know them. You said you don't know them, right? Let me remind you. Yes, you do. Because in the picture, the man there in the middle, that's you. Let me blow it up a little bit. Let me blow it up. The man in the picture right there, you see? The man in the picture right there. Can you see this face? You see? Same face. Same face. Same man. He is next to the terrorist. And he's lying again to us on camera. That he doesn't know that they are terrorists. He's lying. It's a straight lie. It's a straight lie. We need to say what it is. These guys, they, be, they should go back to Futajalon. Whatever agreement we reach with them, they will never stop trying to conquer the whole of the South. We must send them back to where? Send them back to Futajalon. Send them back to Futajalon. Send them back to Futajalon. Now let's listen to the rest of his nonsense. But anyway. Solutions are problems are local. Solutions are local. It's not a military. He's talking nonsense. Solutions are uh, 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 local. Solutions are uh, uh, local. Nonsense. He's just talking, spewing nonsense. Solution. So you, None. you don't, in this case, Prof, it's yes, convenient. You, do. you don't want the law to take its course. That is the law. That is the law. What is the law? What is the law? The law everywhere in this world when there's conflict is dialogue. No, go and kill. But you, you know, can no go and you want, you would have rather that the governor allowed the law to take its yeah, course. Absolutely. This is the law. This is the law. What's what is the, the law? law? What is what are you asking me on door on door to do to go and kill them? Or you see, you see now, when he when she asked him about complying with the law, oh no no no, we discussed with them. What do you want me to do and go and to kill them? Nobody's asking you. We're saying the law to take effect, but of course it's working. He's up, look, they, they they belong in where Futajalon. They belong where Futajalon. Futajalon. That's where they belong. Futa Jalon. That's where they belong. Futa Jalon. Let's carry on. We're not going to take Oh, Katana State Governor to go and kill them all? No. Or to give an order anybody carrying AK-47 to go and shoot and kill? Yes, or that's something? what the, that's what Buhari said. Buhari said anybody carrying AK-47 to go and kill them. But you see, he's making an excuses for Fulani terrorists. That is why we cannot trust them. He needs to go back to Futa Jalon. He must be sent back to him and all of them. Oh, we cannot trust any of them. They are killers in the southern, in the south. They want our land, our resources. We need to send them back. Look at what they've done with the VAT now. They've now put a halt on the case won by Rivers because they are afraid of the resources. They, but they see these people are, they are hypocrites. They tell us, oh, they don't drink. No, they don't drink beer. But they will take the money that we have in the south that comes from the sale of alcohol and take it and, and use it and steal it from us. They are a bunch of hypocrites. Enough of this nonsense. They come from Futajalon and they must be sent back there. The law. Mm. That is not the law. Mm. Whatever Do you agree you that kill. the executive determines how the law should even play out? No, the executive does not determine the executive. <laughs> you see, he's, writing, he's writing the rules for themselves because he's a Fulani man. You see, the Fulani man, they believe they are the law. You see, he's, look at the way he's sitting down. He believes that they are, he's the law. He's sitting down. He's intimidating. When you're going to sit in front of a woman, you sit back. You sit back, you do this. You, you know, but his seat is leaning forward. He's trying to tell her, I am in charge. And he's putting his, his body language is, I am the threat. I am the law. I am Fulani. And we need to call them out. They come from Futa Jalon. 
they come from Futa Jalon. That's where they come from. Now, I'm not going to stay too much more on this because I just want to, we need to keep shaming these people. Follows the law. Follows the law. That, 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 they, that the legislature. So if the executive if they, issues. If they don't do it right. You see, he's trying to talk over her. Right. Order on. You see, can you see he's putting, this, look at that. Look at that. It's, you, this is not your house. You're not talking to your wife. No. You're not talking to some, some, you know, this is, the, we, this, we need to call this out. Look, look at this. Look at this. The, the effrontery of this nonsense. Yeah, that the legislature so if the executive and if they, issues if they don't do it right. order. You see? See that? See that? It says body language. No, I'm in charge. I'm fu Fulani, you come from Fudajalon. We, you, will be, you will be made to understand that you do not belong in the South. You come from Futajalon. Your grandfather's estate is in Futajalon. So go there to collect it. Simple. Right. On the police to ask Shegumi to lead um, forces into the forest and bring the bandits to book. Would you support that? Which executive issued that order? Would I'm asking. No, we didn't. We let, let see, can you see that? Which it says which it, exactly? But you know what? Do you know why he will never do that? Very good question. Let me show you that picture again. Do you know why he will never do that? Because he's working with Gumi with the terrorists. Look, he's working with Gumi with the terrorists, so he will not support it. That is why we say they need to go to Futajalon. They must go back to Futajalon. Those of you watching this broadcast, when you see it, share it. We are not telling any lies here. You're watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. We urge you to please subscribe. Share this broadcast. Share, share, share. Expose the lies of the fraudulent Fulani government. This man has got the consent of the Fulani government right behind him. That is why you see him with Gumi talking to terrorists. And he's coming to tell us, oh, we need to sort out. And we, Igbo Ho is, a, is, is, is a supporting terrorism. No, he's not. Prove where Igbo Ho has killed a, a, a Fulani terrorist. Prove it. Go and prove it. Where's the evidence? Where is it? We have enough evidence of Fulani terrorists killing and nobody jailing them. The Fulani government has ensured that not one, including yourself, you should be in jail for the fraud you've committed against the, the people you call, oh, one Nigeria. You should be in jail. We need to say this like it is. This is all about speaking truth to power. I'm not interested in the, your semantics. We are talking about facts here, and you don't have any. See? We See this nonsense? So I'm going to put a stop to it. I'm going to put a stop to it there. I don't want him to. The man is talking utter nonsense. Would you Sorry. support that? Which executive should that? So, see? Now, let me go back to that bit again. I want you to just hear that bit. Listen. She said... Um, forces into the forest and bring the bandits to book. Would you support that? Let Which me put it again. Let me go back again. See? That, 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 they, that the legislature... So if the executive and if they, issues if they don't do an right. order on the police to ask Shegumi to lead um, forces into the forest and bring the bandits to book, would you support that? Which executive issued that order? We I'm didn't asking. We, no, we didn't. We, let, we let, let. You see? Already. We, already, you can see that he, well, as soon as she asked that question, she straight less. away, he straight away was like, no, 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 no. I want you to have this in your mind. One thing is for sure. The bandit. One thing you have in your mind for sure is that this man works with Gumi. He works with Gumi. Gumi. And that is what we need to it. do. Sorry. Oh, shoot. I don't know what's going on. He walked with Gumi. And let me just make it. I don't know why he's doing that. But anyway. Anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to post the video here. The people here. they are killing. Let's post, let's post that here because I think it's, it's conflicting with something. I don't know what it is. I don't want to make sure. Okay. So, sorry about that. So, let's take that away. I don't want that to be in the way because it was distracting me. But listen. Most important above all is you've seen what we're saying now. The man is a fraudster. Let me make this picture big. The man is working with Gumi. He's working with Gumi with terrorists. And he is a fraudster. You can see he's in the picture there. That's him there. He's a fraudster. And let's call them out. And we must say it like it is. It's time for us to speak up. That is the only way we can free ourselves from this bondage. Speak up and enlighten our people. 
empower them to be able to speak truth to power. That's the only way we can free ourselves. And then once they know, when people know the facts, they will stand up for their rights. It is a time to encourage the people to go for self-determination. And these are one of the ways. We need to expose this man. This man is a fraudster and he should be in jail. But because he's a Fulani man, that, that's why I'm telling you we're not one Nigeria. A Fulani man will kill, steal, rob, rape, and not face any jail. If a, if, if a Yoruba man, be a Middleburg, does even just, it says, let's say they even just steal. They are thrown in jail, they are beaten up. They, are, they got guns at, 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 pointed at you. They never point guns at the, at the terrorists. They are always arrested walking past. And they free them immediately. They never see the inside of a, of a court. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Citizen Network, the platform where we speak truth to power. Before I go, I will urge you to please go and subscribe to Citizen AY on YouTube. So, please do this. Thank you very much. I hope you're, uh, you've enjoyed this program. If you do, please share the, the broadcast and let it reach as many people as possible. Please give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Hit notification button. Give us the thumbs up. Uh, thank you very much. You're watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Thank you and goodbye.